fish on. Fish on, guys. Whoa, that was wild. Fish on. Here we go. What's up guys, I'm super excited about today. I'm very excited to announce that I'm gonna be doing a brand new series here on Wilbur Lake where I'm gonna be testing out different types of lures, spinners, and anything else you can think of that may be interesting for trawling for trout. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I have the Go Fish cam with me today, which means we'll get some underwater footage, which will be really, really fun. And uh, I can't wait to get out on the water, guys. I've already looked around and there is no trash at this location, which is wonderful. Without further ado, wish me luck. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm excited about today. Let me go ahead and show you the setup real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I've got um, a 20 pound main line, and then we've got over here the Go Fish Cam, okay? So pretty bulky. And then all the way down, we've got about two to two and a half feet down to our first lure. So let's spotlight that really quick. So guys, today we're gonna be showcasing the Rapala Countdown CB1 one inch balsa minnow. Sinking at a consistent rate of one foot per second, the Rapala Countdown allows you to easily target specific depths. Trolling or casting, this weighted balsa lure swims with a slow rolling Rapala action. You'll notice throughout the footage that trout are darting in and out of the screen, and a lot of times they love to stalk the lure before they make up their minds. You can almost see their brains churning as they try to make up their mind about if they want to bite it or not. It is so much fun seeing these trout shoot in and out of the frame chasing the Rapala countdown. Guys, there's no guarantee that a trout's going to bite when the go fish cam is attached to the line but it is really fun to see the way these trout interact with the lure as they try to make up their minds. So guys, one thing that I would really like you to do is go ahead and give me some ideas of other things that you would like to see trolled in Wilbur Lake because I wanna do a series that's fairly extensive where I can come up here throughout the year and just test out different types of lures to see how they perform underwater. Uh, hopefully get some underwater strikes, things like that. So if you have a lure that you think would perform really, really well, let me know and uh, we'll, try to we'll try to include it in the series because I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, if you wouldn't mind just putting a comment down below of something that you'd like me to try, I would be happy to try it out. So right now it's intermittent. I can see weeds for sure. I can see weeds down there. They're not growing super intensely though, so I don't know. Alright guys, well, I went ahead and did the trolling section of the video. I think it went really well. I, hopefully I got some cool footage. I'm not sure I didn't get any takes, unfortunately, but that doesn't mean that it's not a great lure to use and I'll probably try it yet again to see how it does maybe without the camera attached to it. But in the meantime, I've actually got night crawlers for the rest of this video and we're gonna head back toward the bridge. I saw a lot of fish rising over there. So we're gonna go ahead and take about five minutes here, paddle back. Guys, I wanted to start um, down here, but the wind's really starting to pick up, but I can see further down the lake, it's uh, protected from the wind. So we're actually gonna go ahead and just cruise and get up to where the bridge is. And that's actually where we'll start. I was gonna start over here and work my way down to the bridge, but 
I can tell that I'm going to be affected by wind and how I'm able to stay in one spot. So we're just going to cruise here for a little bit until we get up to a better spot. So guys, we're officially out of the wind right here. This is nice. Right behind us is where the wind kicks up, but right here, it's nice and flat, calm. So now we can start kind of looking for risers for fish that are feeding. Wow, guys, it's so shallow today that a lot of the places that I normally fish, you can see are out of the water. That's pretty interesting. I'm gonna cruise over here real quick and see if we've got maybe some little dips or some pools where we may have some trout hanging out. Wow, this is just so different looking than the norm. Right there, yeah. I don't know if you guys can just see how shallow it is. It's very shallow today. We're just off of the main channel. Super shallow right here, but it gets deeper over there. I think I'm gonna go over by this beaver dam. Let's check out the beaver dam real quick. It's always interesting to me to look at the beaver dam. It's just different, you know? But normally it's not this low, so I don't get a good look at it like I am today. Normally everything is underwater. I'm wondering how firm the ground is here. Is it firm enough for me to get out? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just do it. Let's set up shop here. Yeah, it's definitely silty, but it is firm. I mean, it's holding my weight, no problem. So guys, we're kind of set up in a spot that normally I can't even get to. Next to the beaver dam here, and that's where we're gonna throw out a couple of worms. I'm gonna re-rig the other rod. Threw it pretty far out there. We'll see how that goes. There we go. And we'll see. Good. So we got our second line set up out here. First line set up over here. And now we wait for the bite. And guys, while I'm on my little island, I've noticed a piece of trash. So I'm gonna go grab that piece of trash because I definitely don't want any trash on the island. And we've got a fireball right here. Someone's been drinking, so. Ooh. Oh yeah. So guys, they are starting to generate, I can tell, because look at the silt starting to push down. Yeah, guys, the water's starting to come in quickly. Look at this, look at this. It's almost like a river coming through here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my rods. This is not necessarily a bad thing that's happening. In fact, this may be quite literally a dinner bell happening right now for a lot of these trout. So I am not discouraged right now, I'm the opposite. All right, guys, here we go. We're drifting it again. Oh, oh, fish on, fish on guys. Whoa, that was wild. We've got a jumper. Oh, it's a nice trout guys. Really nice rainbow. I'm gonna grab my net. Oh man, oh man, he is so aggressive. Yeah, <laughs> we got them guys. What a beautiful rainbow trout. Holy smokes, man. So guys, the hook actually came out. Look at that beautiful, beautiful trout right there, just drifting. That was so, so awesome. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful fish on the shallows right here. What a beautiful trout, man. Whoa, and he is off and check this out. The hook came out in the net. That's how you want it. That's how you want things to happen. So finally, we got a little bit of a drift going, and suddenly, things started to happen. That was that was pretty wild. Man, it's, and, and guys, just like that, the water stopped again. It stopped moving, so now we're back to stagnant water, and it just kills the bite, because if we had that movement going, I wanna say the water came up about a foot, but now it stopped again, it's done. So guys, that was absolutely crazy. The water level came up like a foot. There was a plenty of current suddenly, and I took full advantage of that. I actually caught a really nice trout, and then it just stops. It's almost like they just pulsed a little bit. And uh, as long as the water was moving, the trout were feeding, and then suddenly when it stopped, they stopped. So we're gonna move on to a new spot, see if we can find something in the stagnant water uh, that might try to bite. Whoa. Oh, some bird poop just landed right in front of me. Whoa. I really do wonder sometimes if they're uh, trying to hit us. And look, you can see all the way down to the bottom, it's like almost tropical water. It's lacking that blue look, but it's just crystal clear. It's crazy how pretty it is. 
check this out. Big old moth is just like stuck in the water. Come here, fella. Take a load off. This guy was definitely gonna get smoked. We'll put him up here, let him dry off on this rod holder I'm not using. There you go, buddy. It's a pretty cool looking feather. What is that, blue herring feather or is that? I don't know. Let's see, could be a blue herring feather, could just be a goose feather. I don't know, that's cool looking either way though. Me and my son, we love to look at feathers, so we'll, we'll try to look up which kind of bird that is when we get home. Man, look at all this rock structure down here. That's cool. You guys will see where we're headed to. It's a pretty, it, it almost looks like a river where we're headed to. It's kind of crazy. So guys, here's my zone right in here. We've got nice moving water. I'm gonna switch back to a drifting setup. We're gonna use up the rest of the worms today. We're just gonna work this kind of this current right through here to see if we can get a few trout to take. I've run the hook through its body and it just pops out one side. So that should do the trick. So I've got about a foot and a half of distance between the float or the bobber and the hook. Now we're just gonna keep the bell open. And if that thing shoots under for any reason, we, we shut the bell and we set the hook. Well guys, the drift didn't work there. So let's switch to plan B, which is to pitch it out and let it sit on the bottom here. Oh, there's a bite guys. Go ahead and let them take it real quick. Let them keep eating it for a second. Yeah, All right, here we go. Oh, the worm's gone. The worm's gone. No! All right, we missed a bite, but there are trout there. So guys, I was just sitting here and suddenly the rod went tap, tap. Let's see if that trout's still around and wants another worm. Oh, okay, there's a bite again, guys. So we just had another bite. We'll let him take it for a second, and then we're gonna reel into it. Fish on. Here we go. Fish on, guys. Off the bottom there. Let me grab my net real quick. Okay. Another beautiful looking rainbow. Wow, man. There's some beautiful fish in this lake. Oh yeah, and a beautiful rainbow trout right on the lip. Nice hook set, really nice hook set. I mean, I barely hooked him, guys. He almost got away there. All right, guys, check out that beautiful rainbow. That was a lot of fun to catch. Let's go ahead and let him go in the shallows right here. Oop, and he's gone. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. I've run out of time, but I had a blast here on Wilbur Lake. I hope you enjoyed the adventure as much as I did. If you are interested in more Wilbur Lake videos, I've got a fun one right here. Or if you'd prefer to see me catching a big fish out of the kayak, I've got a fun striper video right here. Till next time, tight lines. Green.